Hello guys, in this video I will talk about OpenPy Excel. Okay. The first thing I will uh, try to answer this what it is to this question. Okay, and second I will talk about open XML. The third is install the this library and the the last one, the four, is our hello world okay so what is uh, open by excel is actually a library to read and write uh, open xml files uh, okay uh, what kind of files are these um, are excel and powerpoint and so on okay next uh, brief introduction to XML well I have for this I have this example I created this file this simple file that have a column A and a column B with values okay uh, these are mainly the, these are uh, integers and here we have strings okay if I go here to the file and rename the file instead of xlsx I call it zip so it have uh, an extension of zip file okay enter okay and yes so now we see that this is actually a zip folder okay uh, with uh, XML file inside and another folder with more XML files and more folders and more oops sorry more um, XML files okay so let's go back and rename this again to XLSX so okay so now we know that uh, Excel is actually a zip folder of XML files okay and XML files also describe a complex structure and we go we can see that if we go here to the Excel file and with 7-zip we can extract to example folder here maybe I'm going to to see this here in the Visual Studio code we have this folder okay uh, with more folders inside let's see what this file is shift alt F to format the file and this file have a bunch of things alright um, Excel I think this is a folder this folder workbook.xml this workbook.xml file um, so this this uh, content types dot xml actually uh, is describing the other files the the paths for the other files okay um, let's see what this workbook have inside um, shift alt f to format and our workbook dot xml have a bunch of things too we have the position of the window and x and y coordinates also we have the width and height of the of this window the, the window of the workbook um, we have sheets this sheet one um, I think if I go here to the folder worksheet we have this sheet one let's see what these have oh sorry I'm trying to center yes um, so sheet 1.xml 
have columns have sheet data and row a1 it this is important one two three is our first value b1 we have a two that doesn't uh, we have a string actually and but this this one have something different we have a t and s this is the type and this s um, actually means um, I think this means shared string because if we go here to the shared strings um, let's format this one yes we have here the strings remember that we have this for example this today is a sunny day four times okay and this is the index 0 index 1 and index 2 if we go here to the sh to the sheet 1 xml we have to the value of index 2 okay instead of repeating the string over and over again they decided the the guys that designed uh, open xml uh, decided to put the indexes related to this shared string dot xml okay so um i don't want to um, go further with this i think you already saw the the most important things here so let's go back and next um oh one last thing okay and uh, microsoft have this um tool that is very very cool this open xml sdk um that if you um search on the go on google you can find and uh, you can download this open xml sdk v25 mse and open xml sdk tool v25 msi okay um you need to install the first one so you can install the second one okay it's very important uh, and you need to to install the two versions the these two files okay um i don't put the, the link for the site because they are uh, changing the, the link very frequently so i think if you search on google uh, about this you can actually get uh, very quickly and very easy in these files okay so let me show you um this tool this tool uh, is open xml sdk okay um if i drag and drop my xml file you can actually see uh, every property of this um document and you can see this is very very complex this have many and many things here that i don't know uh, what it is um, a very uh, cool thing is this um, this um, option that you can actually reflect the code well um this is c sharp code okay S science this is a tool made from microsoft um this is c sharp code but it it can be very helpful i several months ago in at work i had to um, to create some uh, excel files from data and I used this tool to um, to make the code because well um 
C sharp is one of my favorite languages, but uh, doing this job is very messy and it's it's not very cool. Okay, so this um, this uh, tool was very cool for me to to create those files and, and generalize uh, my and create a dynamic um, XML builder. Okay, so this is the last thing I want to show you about um, Open XML. The next thing we going we have to install the the OpenPy Excel. So what we will do is we're going to say pipe install open pi excel so let's open windows powershell in admin in admin mode and i can say here pipe install open pi excel and it will do things Collecting well, the guy is running the install. So we have the open Excel open by XL installed. This second library, the Pywell library, is required for image if you want to. Um, handle images in the Excel files okay so I'm going to install it to install pillow 2 and it will start to install it um, a very important thing to say here and um, the two are finished okay N a very important thing to say here is uh, this wasn't my first um, installation. This is the second one, uh, second time that I'm installing this, and the first time I had some problems. After installing it, um, I actually tried to to run code, and uh, Python was uh, saying that the module wasn't there, and I, it turns out that I had two versions of Python installed. So uh, in PowerShell, uh, in admin mode, it was running one version, and PowerShell here in Visual Studio Code was the other one. So um, one for 32 bits, and the second one for 64. So um, I had to go to um, uh, environment variables and uh, put it to to use just one um, version of Python. Okay, and that solve solved my my problem. Um, so let's do our hello world. Okay, so let's say from open. Pi Excel import workbook, okay, and we say that workbook is equals to a new workbook object. Also, we want our worksheet that is workbook dot active. Active is get active work shit actually um we s go uh, i want to to set the title for this workbook for example uh year revenue and let's say that worksheet at cell a1 is equals to 
sales and let's assign to B B1 the value of uh, 1 2 0 0 and let's copy just to have another line and the second line will have uh, interest and 405 and that's cool that's that's enough this is just uh, an L hello world so I don't want to go further um, now we say workbook dot save and we say the name of uh, our file my revenue dot x l s x and I think this is it let's go to the console and hello world enter and a new file was created here let's see my revenue let's open and we have for the cell A and column A and B sales and value interest and 405 okay so this is this is it um, thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed